What's good, y'all? I'm here with another episode of Not So Randoms. I got a special guest in here today. Definitely form. And today we're about to get into some Not So Random questions. Growing up before music, before you started taking it seriously. It was hard. And I was just pushing. Trying to find, figure out, like, you feel me, what my purpose is type shit. Mm-hmm. I found the music and just kept going with it. What was music in your life like? And what role did it play? So like a lot of people like when I was growing up, music was like therapy. Like I be hearing my mom, she's played a lot of R and B and shit. Mm-hmm. And like hearing people sing like that, that's like soothes and shit, like it calmed me down type shit. So how was it for you? Same way it is it was definitely therapy. Just like every time I was you feel me, you go through shit out like throw some music on there and start feeling me working yeah. at it like I work at that shit hard as hell with some music. Now you don't cap. I love music. Or beats. Just hearing beats too. Like, that shit be. Show me that shit be. Yeah. You know, to my ears type shit. I be feeling like, yeah, it definitely do mess with your emotions. Cause you can be in a gym. Bitch, I put on Who Wants Smoke. I be fucking hot. I be funny as hell. Word though, like, it really give you that, feel me? Yeah, it, it, that's what it gotta do. So what got you into making music? What made you like, what was your motivation for it basically? Coming up, my cousin was, but then he fell off and stopped. Mm-hmm. Feel me? I still fuck with him and shit like that. He hard, but I really start putting my foot in, I put my foot into this shit like the next year. Cause I'm like, I really go far with this shit. People telling me this and all that. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit and then it just kicked off from there. Yeah. What was your first time in the studio like? Nervous. I was nervous as hell, but I was alone. I don't know how I was nervous. It just was like the mic, me, and then my cousin. And then I didn't want to fuck up. I didn't want to see how stupid niggas be looking at me like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> really? But that shit, it was raw. Like, it was a good experience. A real good experience. Was Bang Boy there or that came later on? Yeah, I feel like I, I think I commented on in your comments. I was like, "You the bang boy beat cut." I really every yeah, time. Yeah, you did. You did. Shit, you shit. are. You and Ski got that one. You and Ski <laughs> yeah. the bang boy. Yeah. Good looks, man. So talking about one of your songs you released, being honest. So how do you keep going with like? I felt like that was like a pain song. Mm-hmm. How you keep yourself going when like it might be hard to just be like, damn, I just want to quit this shit. I just know it's gonna be more if I if I if I. If I, if I do do it, you feel me? Like, if I, every time I tell myself I'm not gonna do it, some greater, like, some greater is always behind that, and I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna do it. Like, I got to. You feel me? That's, that's how I push, that's how I push myself. And once I feel like, man, I ain't gonna go here, or I, I ain't gonna do this, I'm gonna do it, because it could be something, like, it could be something great behind that. Like, super good. And what was the story behind that, so? Cause you like I was listening. You you literally was being honest. You was like telling my mom like, you feel me? Right, right. Mom, well, do see how she was tripping at one point. I ain't going crazy. She been going crazy since I was young, but like mm-hmm. she started really going nuts. And shit, but me and her cooling now. And my man, she wants some shit I have going on. A lot of shit was fucking with me. I just was just talking to the mic. You feel me? Talking to the people. Mm-hmm. Seeing the day. You feel me? They feel me type shit like. That's how I was, that's how I was just feeling. It's all, emo- all emotions. It's going in there. Just speaking the truth. What was the vibe like for making a no fame tape? Vibes was like, he was out of this world, man. That was my, I think that was my first, my first real, yeah, that's my first real tape. Cause yeah. before then it was an EP. And um, yeah, it was like real vibe. I'm like, there, I, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it, honestly. Cause when I first started, all my songs was a little short. Yeah, I noticed so, that here too. It was all a little short, but I still was posting them. I ain't give a fuck. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I remember, <laughs> I remember one time I was listening to one of your songs, and it ended. I'm like, I'm waiting for the next song. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> it was like, like 10, that, 15 you know? seconds. I'm like, damn, this shit ain't go off yet. Right. right. Um, a lot of people was telling me that shit too. Like, some people was telling me like, your songs a little short. Let me go. 
goal of, you know, goal of giving her mm-hmm. ass money on it type shit, but I always just, just kept it as, it, as it is and then dropped it. But now I'm trying to, you feel me, progress on that. Everything else is, like, from here on out. And, like, a year ago, it's getting better type shit. Yeah, getting better. Because you're going to have to expand, like, eventually, like, just like that being on this song, you can't, like, most of your songs, I feel like they, like, not drill, but, like, they, like, to be hard, right. but not everybody gonna fuck with that. You might have to go to different people. That's why the pain song, you can make a love song, all types of shit, mm-hmm. like, feel me? So, it's good to be universal. Right. But, back to the new fame tape. Explain, I got two songs for you to explain. The first one's gonna be Net Talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know how, you know how, how you lose it out here. Everybody always in the way. Feel me? And then it's just DMs, internet, people like, talking and shit and doing all that extra shit that you shouldn't be doing mm-hmm. if you into whatever you into, you know what I mean? But, yeah, just going in there off of the shit I'm seeing and hearing and people telling me or people trying to communicate with me and shit, like, makes me weird and nervous. I'm not doing <laughs> hey, word, I'm not like, the internet. I'm not at all. I can't tell you shit. They shouldn't too, but mm-hmm. everybody different. Take shit. Yeah. Everything K featuring Jay said. <laughs> yeah, that shit was hard. I went in there. I was thinking about my cousins and shit, for me. RPSK, RP put up. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think about them heavy. Just going in there. Just crash that shit out. It was a freestyle too. Super freestyle. Crash that shit out like like this. I was not playing. I heard the beat. The beat was just like that shit was dumping the man for yeah. Like that's, that's <laughs> the other thing I like about Big Boy Beats. Yeah, yeah, yo, I know once you hear that girl, that whatever she say, that shit gonna go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you funny as hell. Uh, I'm like, I know my car about to thump, yo. <laughs> yeah. What's your main goal with music? Like, what do you want to achieve in the long run? Rich. Anybody in my circle, I want to make sure they straight. You know, help people that's not in my circle too. You feel me? Do it all. I really want to do it all. I'm about to be behind the scenes of it, of it but I, I want to do it all. Make sure that everybody good. For anybody that want to be an artist too, what would you say to them? What keep, tips could you give them? Keep going. Don't let nobody tell you that like your shit is not right and all that shit. Just keep going with, with whatever you're doing. You're going to eventually find your flow. You're going to eventually pr- pr- progress. It takes time for everything that you do. Literally, just keep your head up and keep going. Don't let none of the harsh, the harsh questions or the harsh, like, uh, the harsh uh, treatment that you're getting from whatever, you know, knock audience. You yeah, knock you off. Don't let it knock you off at all. For real, keep your pivot. So, you dropped the, the No Fame tape. You got anything else coming soon? Any more tape, visuals, songs? Yeah, I got visuals coming soon, and I got my tape coming soon. NSG Volume 1. Most definitely. It's going to at least have like 10 to 12 songs on there. Mm. That's the end of Not So Random. Before we end, we got some bonus questions.